Hey, what's up? I'm Andy and I'm here to tell you about the brand new Captain Chords Epic. If you're not familiar with Captain plugins, don't worry. I'll start from the very beginning and I'll show you everything that's new in Captain Chords Epic. If you like the video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any future Captain Plugins Epic tutorials. Okay, let's get started. Let's start by laying down some chords on the canvas. We have a couple of options for this. You can add chords using the magic buttons. This was the traditional way in older versions of Captain plugins and is great if you already know what chords you want to use. Or we can use the new chord progression presets found here. These new chord progression presets are a great starting point. They help you get something going quickly that sounds great and fits your music genre. If we click on edit, we can choose from banks of chord progressions which are categorised by music genre. Let's choose from the house bank and go with seventh chords. The canvas will automatically populate with a chord progression that will work well for house music and features chords with 7th note extensions. If you want to change the voicing of the chords, select the chord, then use the up and down arrows to try out various inversions. This helps to reduce leaps between chord notes and makes the chord changes sound more natural. We can addition new chord progressions in keeping with these filters by pressing the reload button. These chords sound great but the way they're played and the rhythm is not very interesting. This is where Captain Chords Epic really shines. We created pianistic playing presets which can be accessed from the rhythms option. These are categorised by genre and are split into three categories, simple, medium and complex. Let's choose everything and addition some of the rhythm presets. You can add rhythms as favourites to recall later and also press the dice button to pick a random rhythm when you need some inspiration. Now that we have our chords and rhythm, let's move on to the sound preset. Captain Chords Epic comes with sound presets from the most powerful soft synth ever imagined, Phase Plant. To access these new sounds, click on the sound preset section. You'll see we have redesigned the instrument picker and made it much more intuitive with all sound presets categorised by genre and instrument type. You can identify a Phase Plant sound by the Phase Plant logo next to the preset name. Let's addition some of these great new sounds with our chords. Once we've chosen the sound preset, we can further tweak the timbre using the pop-out sound design interface. These macro controls allow you to adjust some of the main characteristics of the sound. This means you can dial in the sound just how you want.
You can also automate these parameters in your DAW to create movement and evolving soundscapes in your song arrangement. It's now possible to import your own MIDI files to Captain Chords Epic. Simply click on Import MIDI, then choose a MIDI file. If the MIDI file contains more than one channel, you'll see the option to choose which channel to import. You'll be asked if you want to transpose the notes to match Captain Chords Epic, change Captain Chords Epic to match the key and scale of the notes being imported, or don't transpose or change the key and scale of Captain Chords Epic. This means you can bring in any chords and fit them into your existing project through transposition. Once you've imported your chords, you can then apply Captain Chords Epic's new set of features to create something new. This works great for remixing or giving new life to old ideas that you've created before. If you're not already familiar with Captain Play, it allows you to use your computer keyboard or MIDI keyboard to play chords in real time. You can change the octave and access a whole range of chords as shown on the keyboard map, with an additional layer of chords made available by pressing Shift. At the top here, set the quantization resolution you want and prevent large leaps between chords by activating Minimize Chord Leaps. Just press play on your DAW and start jamming. Once you're happy with the take, simply click here to add the chords to the main canvas for further editing. At the bottom of the canvas, we have these three tabs, Chords, Rhythm and Velocity. The Chord tab allows you to easily resize chords to change the overall timing of your chord progression. You can also delete and split chords quickly from this section by clicking at the top corner or right clicking on the chord block. Since it sounds great to vary rhythms across a chord progression, you can divide the chord into several rhythm sections within the Rhythms tab, which can then have individual rhythm presets applied from the main Rhythms menu. This allows you to create more varied and interesting chord progressions compared to using the same rhythm throughout the whole chord progression. On the third tab, we have the velocity control for each chord and individual chord notes. Velocity is important for adding a human touch to how your chords are played, so try to add some variation here and some accents. Moving up to the canvas, Captain Chords Epic has full MIDI editing, so you can resize, move, delete chords to your liking. In addition to the drag and drop to export MIDI region feature, you can now also export audio. This opens up many new workflow options for using your Captain Chords Epic creations inside your DAW. If you're ready to work in MIDI within your DAW, but have the sound generated by Captain Chords Epic, make sure to turn off the Play From Plugin setting, as there's no longer the MIDI in tab. The notes are now being triggered by the DAW arrangement and not playing from within Captain Chords Epic. Loop Playback allows you to decide if Captain Chords Epic should loop automatically around the chords that you have on the canvas, or if you prefer, you can turn the setting off and use your DAW's loop or cycle to determine the loop size. At the bottom of the user interface, you'll find Scale View and Snap. Scale View allows you to change the appearance of the piano roll, to only show scale notes, or to have them folded, fit to view, or just like a regular piano. Snap gives you control over how much the chords or notes will move in the canvas. You can snap to many resolutions, including triplets. If you want to use your third-party software instruments and have them triggered by Captain Chords, this can be done in the Plugins and MIDI Out tabs. When in the Plugins tab, you can choose from a list of compatible plugin instruments. The MIDI will be generated by Captain Chords Epic and the sound will come from your third-party instrument. If your plugin instrument is not available in the Plugins tab, you can achieve the same result by using MIDI Out. The setup for this varies between DAWs, but you can view a setup and routing guide by clicking on Open Tutorial. Last but not least, we have the Undo and Redo Action buttons, a quick link to the How-To Guide and the Settings panel. 
I hope this helps you understand the main functionality of Captain Cord's Epic. If you already own Captain Plugins 5, then check the update notification inside Captain Plugins 5 for an awesome upgrade deal to Epic. Or if you're new to Captain Plugins, make sure to get your license now via our website, captainplugins.com and start making great music today.